Hey, what's up guys? Jake with Legacy 4x4 here again. And today we're doing another super simple shop related project. And that is, we're gonna be making me a new welding cart. All right, so the inspiration for this project is kind of twofold. I just recently switched to only doing MIG welding now, and as a result of that, I also went out and got a much larger MIG bottle because I now live like an hour away from my closest welding supply store, which means I don't want to go there as often to go refill gas. The little cheap Harbor Freight welding cart that I have is no longer going to cut it for what I do when I have to wheel the cart around things like that because it barely holds the bigger bottle on the back of it. I'm going to repurpose that welding cart and I'm going to put the Everlast on it for the plasma table. For this, I wanted to do like a two or three tier welding cart to have some additional storage, keep it within the same footprint that it's in over there, but also provide some additional stability for the larger gas bottle. I happen to also have a lot of scrap expanded metal left over from other projects. So I plan on using some of this expanded metal here and making a three tier welding cart. So stick around guys, it should be a simple, fun, quick little build for us today. little progress shot. I took it off the old welding cart and set it on there just to kind of get a feel to make sure it was the right size. I gave a ton of space in this bottom shelf here so that I could eventually put a TIG machine hopefully, um, maybe eventually if I ever get a TIG machine, and then also um, just to use for a lot of storage and to get the welding machine itself up a little bit higher and to help balance out the really tall bottle. So anyways, Got that done. I think I'm gonna do one more small shelf, like right here, to put like my gloves on. And then I had to do the little back part where the bottle goes on the back there. So let's go ahead and do the back and I'll think about doing a shelf up here while we do that. All right, just finished up the back half, the part that's gonna actually hold the tank. Now I'm gonna do a little tray on the top so I have a place to put my gloves. My helmet goes on the wall, so I just need a place to hold my gloves and that's about it. Um, so let's go and do that. Let's go and do the top part of this and I'll show you guys what I'm All right, so we got the bulk, most of the major structure of the cart finished. Just two more things that I want to add real quickly and those are just going to be two cable lead holders. So here's the cart as it currently stands. I'm going to just add two little cable lead holders off the top of this here that will allow me to wrap my uh, ground and torch cables around. Nothing too crazy, as you guys can see. It's a pretty straightforward, simple little design. There it is, already finished. It was a nice quick little project. You can see it next to the cheap little Harbor Freight cart there. Just a little bit of a size difference, just a little bit, but that's okay, it works out. You can see I'm just using two cheap extra Harbor Freight ratchet straps right there to hold the tank in place. I cut the tails a little bit so that they're not as long to have to deal with. That spot down at the bottom there, all of this is in the event that I ever get a TIG machine or I can store other stuff down there just out of the way. Expanded metal. I much prefer using expanded metal on things in the shop after building that with all 14 gauge and realizing that it just is a dust collector I now try to either use expanded metal or have no floor whatsoever if you can help it But 
For this, I wanted the storage, so it's getting expanded metal. Really simple structure. Even got a little shelf for my gloves. Nothing crazy. All right, that was a super simple, quick little project. Like I said, I've got some downtime. My move is finished. The plasma table is finished. The certified table is finished. So I really am just like running out of things to do while I wait for the Jeep to get finished up in the paint booth. So I'm doing little other random shop projects like this. So there might be a couple more of these coming out as we go. I got a couple other ideas for things that I might want to make to optimize my shop space as much as I can since it is a little bit small. Simple and straightforward. You could have gone anywhere from zero to 100 with this kind of thing. I've seen on Pinterest and other places some ridiculous welding carts that are just all over the place. They've got all the features, everything you'd ever want. I just wanted something a little bit bigger and a little bit sturdier to carry my welding bottle and my welding machine itself around the garage as I work on different things. But super simple build. I hope you guys like that. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe. Take care.